Let's speak now with Anne Le Boutillet, Asia Pacific Director, T Soja and Associates. She joins us live in our Singapore studios. Anne, great to have you here with us. I mean, obviously, this, this is a, a big uh, bid, a big amount of money to pull out um, of this it is no easy decision. What are some of the factors that Hutchison ought to be considering right now? Uh, hmm. Well, I th I'm not sure that it's, first of all, it's not that big an amount of money, Keith. I mean, we're talking a, an amount of money that's significantly less than what Global Crossing has saved in operating expenses and CapEx over the last year. Right. Um, it, it's significantly less than that amount. Um, you know, it's it's not a huge amount of money. I think the opportunity, in in light of the fact that the money is really relatively low, and the potential for this company is very high, I would guess that it's an opportunity cost that they're looking at more than anything. Um, I, I'm a bit surprised that they're looking at pulling out. I I would say that this investment is worth fighting fighting for, really. Right. Uh, do you think what are some of the barriers right now that that's really holding Hutch back? Do, well, do you think that the U.S. probe, and they have said, the U.S. government has said that it will, uh, you know, make that investigation into, yeah. into the potential bid for, from Hutchison? I'm, I'm very surprised at the news. It seems a bit premature. As I said, it's worth fighting for. What they're investing is not that big. What the potential for the investment is, what exists, is, is fairly significant. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really surprised that they, would, that they would take this step now to suggest they're going to pull out when they've gotten fairly close to getting this thing done. Hard to tell, really, whether they are that close or not, because it is all in the, in the U.S. courts side at this point. Right. If you look at SDT's position, uh, they've got nothing to lose at this point in time, whether Hutch pulls out or not? Well, sure. I mean, if, if Hutch pulls out, then STT is left with the big, with the big investment. Um, it's, it, it still is a, it's a decent amount of money. It's just, it's just not that large when you consider, again, the potential for it. But, yeah, STT is left with a bit more of a risk, mm -hmm. a, a quite, quite a bit larger in investment. And furthermore, STT doesn't have the experience with these global ventures that Hutchison does. Although, right. in reality, neither of them has that much experience. I think, honestly, um, I was a bit surprised that either of them were the ones who were going after Global Crossing at the start. Right. I mean, Do you think the U.S. government uh, could be overreacting to these potential bids, uh, particularly from Hutch? Yes, I think so. I mean, when it comes to security concerns, and that seems to be the biggest concern, I, I think there is an overreaction. It's in no one's best interest to operate a global crossing network that isn't fully secure and fully reliable. Right. You know, Hutchison and STT are approaching this as investors. This is, it really doesn't fit with their telecommunications strategies right. as, a, as a rule. What it fits with is these are two smart companies. They're looking at this as this is a good investment. There's a lot of potential here. So that's the way I see it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, just looking at their strategies, it's not huge for them when it comes to their telecommunications infrastructure to have a global crossing. They'd be better off with an Asia global crossing. Right. But, you know, what they're looking at is this investment. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it's, um, you know, it would not be in their best interest to take this investment and then and then bastardize it in right. any way. At the end of the day, it's Global Crossing's future that, that may be... Exactly. Uh, the, the, the That's what they're mark. investing in. Right. Thanks so much for your time. It's Anne Le Boutier, the Asia-Pacific Director at T-Soja and Associates, joining us there.